everyone, this is Sonal and you are watching. If you're wondering why I'm back so soon after posting three back-to-back -back videos during the week, then it is Sunday and this is my usual day. So, jail lo. In case you thought I might miss doing a pride-related video this month, then nope, I'm not going to do that. There's no pride month that I am ever going to miss. There is also something special about this video that I'll talk about maybe towards the end of the video or once I finish the main purpose of this video. So stay tuned for that. But in today's video, I will be talking about three books that I read based on the LGBTQ plus community and how much I like them and why I think you should read them as well. So let's get started the first novel that i have with me is a thriller called lies with men by michael neva it is set in 1986 in los angeles where a group of right-wing christians are trying to pass a ballot which states that all hiv positive individuals should be put away in quarantine camps now there's a bunch of young activists who go by the name queers united to end erasure and depression which adds up to queer now these activists are protesting against the ballot they don't want it to be passed and they are being counseled by a very famous lawyer called henry rios or rios rios why can't they have surnames like Panigrahi, Mahapatra, Patra, Mahanti? Anyway, coming back. Henry is counselling them. But in a sad turn of events, uh, one of the activists is charged with the bombing of a church. And one of the church pastors dies. And that pastor was a firm supporter of the ballot and he really wanted it to be passed but now that he's killed the people think that it's one of these activists who was behind the bombing so it's henry's job to see that the person who has been accused does not get the death penalty that has been announced for him although the novel is somewhat a murder mystery or a law related novel it also sheds light on some important topics such as homophobia, then religious fanaticism, the lack of scientific knowledge and tolerance towards HIV positive individuals, at least back then. The story comes with a good deal of plot twists and mystery. So if you are someone who loves this genre, you are going to love this novel as well. Next up, I have the comic novel How I Paid for College by Mark Aceto. The book is set in 1983. Come to think of it, a lot of the books that I read are set in 1980s for God knows what reason. Anyway, the book is set in 1983 in New Jersey and it talks about a high school senior called Edward Zani. Zani! Edward is an aspiring theatre artist and he wishes to go to Juilliard school to fulfill his ambition of becoming an actor. Unfortunately, his father refuses to pay for the tuition, much like most of the Indian parents. There, there, Edward. There, there. Now that his father has refused to pay for the college fees, Edward reaches out to his friends and all of them together, they devise, plan and strategize ways in which they can get money so that Edward can pay for his school or college rather so in doing so 
a string of hilarious events start happening and i'm not going to disclose more than that you should read the book to know what happens apart from the comic sequences in the novel edward's journey of coming to terms with his own sexuality is something that i think all of us can relate to not just from an lgbtq plus perspective but rather in a sense that when we are trying to come to terms with something or when we are fighting a battle with ourselves that journey is something that will feel very relatable how did i like the book because this book has two genres that i absolutely stay away from young adult or coming of age and comedy i did have to put the book down or rather minimize the ebook uh, number of times but putting my biases aside the comic reliefs in the book are really amazing and if you are someone who loves the comedy genre or the young adult genre you are going to love this book and last but not the least i have with me the 1963 drama novel city of nights by john brechi this is a beautiful book in more ways than one and i can't begin to explain why it is that way you will definitely need to read the book the book is about a homosexual hustler termed as young man and he wants to know more about the life of a young man and as a result about himself as well and in his quest for this knowledge he travels across various places and in doing so we come across various characters that he meets there are outcasts there are sex workers there are drag queens and with this hustlers interaction with them we get to know about a lot of things in this story city of night was released at a very precarious time it's 2022 right now and we still have people who cringe at the thought that lgbtq plus community and people exist so back in 1963 you can only imagine how much of a risk john brechi took he thought that maybe it will be ignored or maybe people won't like it but on the contrary the book received marvelous reviews and it became his most popular book of course he did uh, receive some backlash from people who don't really uh, understand existence of lgbtq plus community but apart from that the book left a mark on a lot of people each character that we meet in the story is as colorful and as dark as anyone could ever be the hustler does not really admit to himself that he is gay but i think that is something that again all of us can relate to because a lot of times we don't really want to accept something about ourselves due to whatever reason so that is something that is a very relatable situation and in his journey of finding this knowledge we also see a great deal of friendship and struggle of course how did i like the book again drama is something that i i don't hate drama but it comes very low in my list probably fifth or sixth but like i said this is a very beautiful novel and i recommend all of you to give it a read any time you find the time to pick up a book and with that i give you three books to read if you haven't read anything this year or this month or this week i don't have the paperback because i don't have a lot of space left in my cupboard so i had to go through ebooks but i definitely recommend you 
to read these books now talking about why this video is special at least for me 2 years ago that is on 21st june 2020 i released my very first youtube video and it was titled 10 videos to watch in pride month in short i am celebrating 2 years of swagitarius and it only made sense for me to talk about something related to pride month as a celebratory video for completing 2 years on youtube i want to thank all of you who have been a part of my small journey i know i'm not the best youtuber out there but i put in my best to work on content that can be enjoyed by at least one person i put in a lot of hard work every single week to make at least one person smile so thank you to all of you who have been a part of my very small journey i would also like to thank all of those people who have given me shit in the name of constructive criticism or advice or suggestion it was you who pushed me to work better improve myself and walk far away from you i would like to thank all of you 154 subscribers doesn't matter if you subscribe to my channel on 21st june 2020 or a couple of days ago you really make me want to put the best thing out there best when it comes to whatever ability i possess anyone who knows me closely knows how much i lack self confidence and how much full i am of self doubt so all you 154 people staying subscribed to my channel is what boosts my confidence <coughs> ladies and gentlemen kehte hain agar kisi cheez ko dil se chaho to puri kainat use tumse milane ki koshish mein lag jati hai and with that pappu awards acceptance speech we come to the end of today's video i really hope that you like the video i really hope that you go back and read at least all of the books that i mentioned <laughs> if you are new to my channel welcome i am sonal and i post videos every sunday i talk about movies series books art photography i do some random vlogs i post all sorts of random things in short you are going to love my channel so if you haven't subscribed already go click on that subscribe button wherever it is and click on the bell icon it will help you get notifications whenever i post a new video if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while now thank you for staying subscribed it would mean a lot to me if you could ask other people to subscribe to my channel as well won't cost you a thing will make me happy if you like today's video do give it a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already please i want to complete another 2 years and i want all the support i can get i will be back next week with another video if you have any video suggestions or any content ideas you can let me know in the comments below or you can reach out to me on instagram i will see you next week until then bye